Connect the power cord to the power supply. Connect the power supply to an AC power source. Verify the indicator is illuminated. Set the power switch to off. Connect the power supply to the printer. Prepare your supply media. Determine the media type by using the scratch test. Direct thermal media will show a dark streak. No ribbon needed. Remove the outside wrap from the media roll to prevent contamination. No streak means you have thermal transfer media and you will need a ribbon. Open the printer. Place the supply media in the roll holders. Place the leading edge of the first label under the media guides. Adjust the guides so they just touch the edge of the media. Remove the wrapper from the supply ribbon. Release the ribbon leader. Install the supply ribbon on the spindles. Install the empty ribbon core on the take-up spindles. Pull the ribbon leader up past the printhead and attach to the take-up core. Wind the take-up spindle towards the rear of the printer until you see the black area of the ribbon. Close the printer. Set the power switch to on. When the printer has finished initializing, the status indicator will display solid green. Next, calibrate the printer to the media. Press and hold the feed button until the status indicator flashes twice, then release. The printer will feed and measure several labels. Next, print the configuration report. Press and hold the feed button until the status indicator flashes once, then release. Printer configuration. To connect the host interface, set the power switch to off. USB interface. Parallel interface. Serial interface. Install the software and run Zebra Setup Utilities. The software will prompt you when to switch power on to complete installation.